just in case you never know remember people always save because you never know you might get overwhelmed and pissed off because you had to do it all over again so you continue on down the road and there's a crow it's your crow ass over crawl motherfucker get your boyfriend too Bow. see crows got goodies too Oh, look at the puppy always save this dog because it will help you in the long run you will need him more than he'll need you though so tip one save the dog if you're ever like in a terrorist situation and you see a dog in a bear trap save him oh snap I blew up the trap I want to do something with it come get me mister man Ugh, chest shot come on come on come get me come get me come get me come on come on stupid you can come get me alright that's done give me your damn money so continue on down the trail with the retarded Spaniards or whatever they are and in here I think they have something gruesome yeah they do there's a hand on the table that looks like a friggin tarantula herb grenade and that thing <clears throat> that is pretty fucking disgusting oh yeah whenever you get herbs you should always at least mix two together to make a strong effect but always keep one not mixed in case you find a yellow one because the yellow ones increase your health back up in which you will need a lot these days because life is a good didn't I shoot your ass get back on the punk got them thunder kicks what do do? hey hey don't run wanna party no well continue on I think there's a guy in here yep what the fuck you don't you peek your ass out here get him shut up Mm. Lord Sadler, your ass. He wouldn't hear when I was beating your mess in. There's bullets everywhere. So continue on. Until you come across the door with the weird little insignia looking like a praying mantis doing kung fu. Which will lead you into the central, central part of the village. Which, I remember when I first played this part, and it took me like forever to do it, Leon, and it scared the shit out of me. Bad question, Hanukkah. Sorry to hear that. I'm sending you a playing manual. Hope you find it useful. I don't I'll need no damn playing manual, you stupid. No, I don't want to look at it. Okay. But, see, you can take a look at what you're going to get yourself into. You know, that's always well. Instead of just running down there Rambo style and capping everything that moves. Okay. They're cooking one of the Mexican dudes. Freaking nasty. And there's chickens. Ooh, 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 ooh. I see. There's lunch. And I see dinner. Where's breakfast? There's breakfast. <laughs> Hell no. Alright, first things first. Run in. You know, you can do whatever you want, really. We'll get the egg first, just because he laid it. Buzz her in the knee, because she's ugly. What the fuck? Back up, homie. Uh, you should run into this house. It will trigger a cutscene, which is kind of bad, because then he comes for you, the guy. You know, you'll see him. Who are these people? So they're planning. They're planning. planning. And here he comes. Mr. Sanchez himself. Got some for his broke ass though. Alright, they start throwing up ladders. Best thing to do is make sure you find an area where your back is covered. Because it's not pretty when they come behind you. So you push this in front of the thing or whatever. You don't even have to, but I just like doing that because I don't like looking out the window at them. It depresses me. Because they're so dirty and poor. Grab as much stuff as you can handle. And head upstairs. Oh shit, wrong button. Shotgun, grenade. And knock the ladder down. 
See, I heard the chainsaw guy come through the window, which is not a good thing because he can kill you in one hit. So that's when you dive out this window and knock the ladder down, bitch, and just run as fast as you can over here. Your back is covered right here, but it's not covered all the way because they can't throw shit at you. But you're safe enough to just shoot whoever comes down here. So, I hear his chainsaw, but I don't see him. Hey, I'm gonna kinda... Are they coming? Nope. Come on, little Latino people. Speaking your Spanish. I can hear them swinging, but they're not coming. And I'm not going any... Oh, shit! Didn't see that coming. Okay, Mr. Sanchez, let's dance, boy! Get some. Always save the shotgun for a lot of people, or Mr. Sanchez himself. Give him a couple plus while he's on the floor. Like that's a lot of people. In which you will bow back up, homie. Get some. Who's your daddy? How's your sister? No, you don't. Miss Thang, back your ass up. Okay, that scared the hell out of me. That would be a good chance to use a shotgun. Because their heads just come off and they keep walking. Which is pretty freaking funny in my opinion. <laughs> Alright. Just keep yourself protected on this roof. And you should be ready. Back your shit up. Ooh, Sanchez is back. And I have two bullets left. Come on, Sanchi. Come on, come on. Come on. No, don't examine. What are you doing? No, don't, what, what are you doing? Make sure your guns are always reloaded. Because there will be many, many times, because I've experienced them, where you will have to reload right when they're killing you. That actually kind of scared me right there. Yep, like I'm doing. Reload. Make sure you always reload. Shit, this isn't working. Grenade time! Suck on this, big boy! Bow! Once you hear Sanchez's uh, chainsaw stop revving, he's pretty much dead. Is it revving? Nope, he's dead. Give me your goodies, boy. For the remainder of the fight, just do what you were doing before. Post up here. Bad, Mr. Mexican. Bad. Just hold your crotch shots. They love those. Just, you know, keep your footing up here. Only move forward unless you want the bullets. And this part is pretty easy after that. Who are you jogging your fat ass to? Oh snap, juking bullets, huh? You ain't Neo. Mm. Don't get up. <coughs> I know it's tiring and cheap, but hey, would you rather be cheap and win or or freaking die and be called a loser and get a game over because you lost in the first level? If this is your first time playing, if you don't follow what I do, you're probably gonna die. Because you always have to make sure you find an area where your back is always covered at all times. Because they enjoy coming up behind you and scaring the shit out of you. Also, another really good tip is always aim for the face or the knee at all times. Or the hand, whichever one has a weapon in it. Because you can do what I just did right there. See, watch. Kneecap. If they fall on their knee, kick, and you knock them all down. That's a really good way to get rid of everyone. Or... You could just take the ghetto route and blast everything that freaking moves. As so. Lay down. Who's your daddy? How's your sister? Wow, twins. Oh shit. Wow! Scared me. Alright. And just keep this up. I'm not sure how long they do it. 